And you have been listening to the London Mayor, uh, Sadiq Khan. He was delivering a statement there and, and carrying out a press conference as well in the wake of the London Bridge terror attacks. We have uh, been told that six people have been killed in the terrorist incident. Some of the things that he had to say is that the UK terror threat is remaining at severe. Uh, and the terror threat was brought down to severe from critical. He said that wasn't a mistake. That, that change happened in the wake of the Manchester attacks. He also said that Londoners will see an increased police presence today as well. Now, we've heard that the Conservatives, the UK Conservatives, have suspended their national election campaign in the wake of the London terror attack, but Sadiq Khan said he wasn't an advocate of postponing the general election at all. So that was uh, Mayor Sadiq Khan uh, speaking. He said, uh, one of the things we can do to show that we are not cowed is to vote in the general election on Thursday. So there's... Uh, been a lot happening today in the wake of the terrorist attacks on London Bridge. Let's go to Peter John. He is the leader of Southwark Council, the council where the attacks took place. And he lives close to the area and described what he saw. I was at home. I... Peter John there, the leader of Southwark Council, which is where the attacks took place. Well, let's go to Greg Dawson, our news reporter who's been with us uh, really throughout, throughout the night uh, as the attacks uh, unfolded. Now, we have heard the French president actually has said that French citizens are among the victims of this particular attack. Uh, what more do we know about yes, the injured? The first indications really of, of, of who have been the victims of last night's attack, this is a statement from the French president's office saying at least two French citizens have been injured in the attack on Saturday night. Um, we don't know the nature of those injuries or, or what happened. We do know that at least one of them was seriously injured. And we've just heard from the London Mayor, Sadiq Khan, saying that some of those injured in the attack are in a critical condition. We had a statement earlier this morning from the London Ambulance Service saying that they had taken 48 people to five hospitals across London. So clearly dealing with a range of injuries. That statement from Sadiq Khan, the first confirmation that some people are in a critical condition. Now, of course, we do know that six members of the public were killed in last night's attack. We are now getting more information about those who were injured. Now, we are also getting a statement here from Nicola Sturgeon. She's the First Minister of Scotland, and she says, following the horrific terrorist attack in the centre of London last night, we are working closely with the UK government and police Scotland to monitor the situation. And later, she says uh, she'll chair a meeting of the Scottish government's resilience committee. Uh, now, we've heard from the UK Conservative Party as well. There would have been a lot of election campaigning had this attack not have happened. That's right. Four full days are left to campaign before the vote is due to go ahead on Thursday. Theresa May was supposed to be leading a political rally later on today. The leader of the opposition, Jeremy Corbyn, was due to give his speech on Labour's plans for the UK economy. It now looks very likely that neither of those things will happen. The Conservatives had added, have added a, a slight caveat in, in that they say that they will review this issue later on in the day. It's still very early in London and people are waking up to this news. Certainly for the first part of the day, there will be no national campaigning events. Now, there might be some local campaigning. You might get candidates knocking on doors throughout the country, carrying on as normal. Many people will be determined that this doesn't stop the process of democracy in this country. We just heard from Sadiq Khan saying he is not an advocate for any delay to the general election and that he's looking forward to voting. But I think what is likely over the next few hours is that the political parties will be processing what has happened and trying to work out when would it be appropriate to start having political discussions and talking about governing. 
Just very briefly, describe what this area is like at London Bridge for people who don't know London. It's an incredibly popular area, both with tourists and locals. It has the appeal of many pubs, several restaurants in the area. London Bridge, of course, is a landmark in itself. It also provides views of, at night of Tower Bridge, illuminated. There are usually several tourists on that bridge throughout the evening taking photos. And we know that that white van was driving across the bridge, hit some pedestrians, and hundreds of people would have been in those bars and restaurants across Borough Market at that time. Greg Dawson, our news reporter, thank you very much for that update. So let's just remind you, in the last few minutes, the London Mayor Sadiq Khan has delivered a, a press conference and he had a few things to say. He said the UK threat level remains at severe and that Londoners will, understandably, see an increased police presence today. And uh, he also said that he uh, believes the general election, which is due to take place in a few days, should continue. Let's go back to L Niger Manchetti now at London Bridge for more of her coverage. After these sorts of horrific uh, attacks and the, the, after Cobra, uh, I'm sure uh, uh, the police will be making a statement. And that was Sadiq Khan, the Mayor of London, speaking there. He gave a press conference uh, a short time ago. Let's just remind you now of this uh, breaking news that we've had for the no a number of hours, an attack in central London which has killed six people and 48 people have been taken to hospital as well. Witnesses say a van ploughed into pedestrians on London Bridge just after 10 o'clock on Saturday night, uh, British Standard Time. Three men then got out of the vehicle and began stabbing people on the bridge and at nearby Borough Market. That's a very busy area, lots of tourists, lots of people out and about. Now, all three attackers were shot dead by police within uh, minutes of, of police receiving the first call. And we understand that uh, at least one of the attackers was wearing a fake explosive vest as well. Now, the government has called a meeting of its emergency security committee, uh, the COBRA committee, uh, and that meeting will be chaired by the Prime Minister Theresa May. And her Conservative Party has actually suspended its nationwide election campaign. If you're not aware, we were right in the swing of a general election. Uh, polls, uh, people here in Britain, in the UK actually, are due to go to the polls on Thursday, so within a matter of days as well. Now, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, uh, was also uh, due to attend the COBRA meeting. He is urging Londoners, Londoners not to be cowed by the attack. Uh, we have heard that some French citizens as well have been caught up in the attack and the uh, Australian government is saying two Australians have been directly impacted as well. We'll of course keep you up to date with all of this. Don't forget you can keep across all the breaking news at BBC Breaking on Twitter and of course on the website bbc.com forward slash news. All of the latest there including a live page. You're watching BBC World News.